Hello! I just got done with my paperwork session over at Starbucks and as promised I'm back to give you any information that I have about getting started with Starbucks and their benefits with the goal of getting fertility coverage particularly for IVF that's what I'm looking for so just a little background um, male factor infertility Tec technically secondary infertility um, we've been trying for about a year and a half now and we've been on Clomid for five months and so far no luck so I decided to get a job at Starbucks for their fertility coverage even though there wasn't a lot of information available about how benefits kicked in how long you had to work at Starbucks how many hours all that kind of good stuff. So that's where we kick off. So just to prove that I am actually a Starbucks employee officially, uh, I got my apron today. It's weird and surreal. I didn't think I would ever be a barista, but here we are, the things we do for the love of tiny babies. So the main thing is that, yes, they do offer benefits to part-time employees. Your benefits don't kick in right away. And it is also my understanding that the benefits kick in differently for the different positions. So I can't speak to any other position other than a barista. So take that into consideration. And also my disclaimer is that this is all based on my experience as of this day in 2018. Um, and Starbucks does not endorse this. They have not sponsored this. Um, and this is all just my point of view as a guideline. Don't take my word as gospel truth. Um, hopefully the rough estimates that I'm able to provide you with will help you make your decision if Starbucks and their fertility coverage is gonna be what best fits you and your family. Disclaimer aside, so yes, offer available to part-time and full-time employees. The only requirements are that you work roughly 20 hours a week as a minimum. And what that looks like is, you know, your shifts that you agree to. It seems like they're availability is very flexible it's going to depend on the store that you're in and after three months of working at least 20 hours a week you then become eligible now just because you're eligible doesn't mean you have benefits right away so month one month two month three you work 20 hours a week and then month four once you are able to establish your eligibility, you put in your paperwork to get approved, and then your benefits kick in from the first day of the fourth month, the fifth month, sorry. So for example, it's September, so I need to work for the next three months, which takes me October, November, December, the end of December. Um, so by the end of January, I will have processed my benefit application and then starting the 1st of February, I should be eligible to receive fertility coverage. Um, there wasn't a whole lot else related to the benefits, specifically fertility, that was covered so if you don't want to know any information about starbucks and what it's like working there um beyond you feel free to tune out um but if you want to know any other information that i was able to find out today then keep listening um everyone who worked there seemed really nice and my manager was particularly awesome um it sounds like my availability and what they need match up pretty perfectly so i'm going to be working super early so from 4 30 until um about 10 30 and that's just what fits me and my family right now um it there were a couple of you know cool things like you can get 
a food item when you're on your shift. You can get um, free drinks while you're working. Um, and then once a week, they give you uh, free coffee items, so bags of coffee, K-cups, that sort of stuff. Um, it seems like the training isn't super intense, like one week, and you should be able to get through a lot of it. Obviously, it seems like a lot in the beginning, but, you know, whenever you're starting something new, it's always like that. And um, it seems like for a retail slash food service business, it seems like all the people who are there have been there for a couple years, which is surprising to me because there's usually a lot of turnover in those industries. So they must be doing something right. Um, the pay is a little over minimum wage here, which was a hard pill to swallow. Um, but again, I just keep telling myself that I'm not there for the salary, I'm there for the benefits. And trying to think if there was anything else important that I could think of. <laughs> um, I think that just about covers it. If I've missed anything or if there's anything else you want me to specifically ask, um, pop that in the comments. And if you're wanting to, you know, buckle up for this journey as I get more information available, um, don't forget to click that subscribe button. And uh, I hope to have some good information for you here in a little bit. Thank you very much. Bye.